thankful to be with you. But because I traveled with this instrument, it takes a little bit of time to get used to the climate.
telling people in St. Petersburg that when I was younger, I used to go see as much as I possibly could the Sun Ra Orchestra. And I was very young and very impressionable. And I sat in just awe of what Sun Ra and everyone associated with him could do. But especially one alto saxophone player named Marshall Allen, who was outlandishly outrageous and was able to craft these beautiful solos that seemed to come from absolutely nowhere that I had ever been to before. And I watched Marshall from the foot of the stage there like this, a little boy in awe. And I watched him play. And I had, I had actually played saxophone for a very short time before switching to the bass. And they taught me how to play like this, but Marshall played like this. And I thought, oh, my lord, is that acceptable what you were doing? And it sounded like, it sounded as good as any symphony I'd ever heard in the grand concert halls. It was extraordinary. Years later, I had the opportunity to play with Marshall on his 80th birthday. And we had performed in a club in New York City. And the hours went by. And the hours kept going by. And finally, people started to say, OK, let's do the last one. We're, we're going to be calling it. And we just play the last one, and we're done. And Marshall is going to be one, two, three in the morning on his 80th birthday. He said, no, no, no. Let, let's keep going. Let's do another. Let's do another. Let's do another. So I went home from that gig, and I thought, well, I must write a tune for this man. This is called the Marshall. Mm -hmm.
another song I wrote for a very important person who I played music with. His name was John Chakai. John Chakai lived for many years in, in uh, Copenhagen. He lived in the South of France. He lived all over the world. His father was African, and he he always tapped into his African roots, especially when he played with one of my very favorite and most inspiring bass players, a guy named Johnny Diani. And when John and Johnny worked together, Johnny Diani was from South Africa. They would explore a lot of African rhythms together, the music that they worked on, improvised around, and, and wrote together. So this is a song art for both of them. It's called John and Johnny, Riding the Clouds.
Thank you.